everyone, this is Teacher K. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about 5 classroom math games. This video is very special because we have a very special guest. My friend, Everything Aja, will be with us later to talk about 2 of those math games. Exciting, right? But before I forget, let me just tell you that in her channel, you will see a video about 5 classroom literacy games. I will also be guesting in her video too. So if you want more of those games later, don't forget to check out the description box for the link to her video. Without further ado, let's start. Number one is Math Bingo Game. The game works like a regular bingo except that the students will have to solve the math problems first in order for them to know what number to mark off their sheet. To prepare, Make a list of 25 problems and make sure to write the answers on the same page itself. And then you have to print out these bingo cards available in my shop linked in the description box down below. Laminate them or insert them into a page protector because your kids are going to write on these cards. So it's nice to be able to use them more than once. When you start using markers, have your child write in the answer to each equation once they're answering make sure that you already printed out and cut the number cards 1 to 25 once the time is up for them to answer this is now the time for you to draw those 1 to 25 number cards and when a number is drawn the student will use one of the bingo markers which should be a cereal jelly beans pom-poms etc in order to mark the bingo card it's really up to you what pattern would make up a bingo, but just make sure to state that one at the beginning of the game. Just an extra tip, if you have lower level kids, you can use addition or subtraction for the equations on the bingo card. But if you have higher level kids, then you can also use multiplication. The ones on my template are addition, subtraction, and an empty one for you to edit. Again, link is found in the description box down below. The second game is Hopscotch Math. This game is a great way to get your students outside on a nice sunny day. Draw a hopscotch grid on the pavement mimicking a calculator layout. Ask the students to form a line and one by one give them a simple operation such as 2 plus 3 or 5 minus 0. Hopping on each element of the equation in the correct order, landing finally on the correct answer. Another way to do this is to call out a number and ask the students to hop on one leg for odd numbers and two legs for even numbers. Number three is back to back. Supplies needed here are just minimal. All you have to provide would be a writing surface, writing utensils, and someone who is quick with their math facts as a caller so if you're part of that back-to-back -back tandem the goal of this game is for you to guess the other player's number before they guess yours to play two students come up to the board and stand back to back that's why the name is back to back okay this position allows the students to write on the board but blocks their view of the other person's number then here comes the caller the caller will state numbers up. This signals the two students to write their number on the board. I personally suggest that you ask students to choose numbers between 2 to 9 to keep them from dwelling in the zeros and ones which makes the game very very easy. But you can always play with numbers high or low depending on the level of your students. Okay, so once the two are done writing, the caller then states the sum for younger students or the product for older students. Again, it's either the sum of the two numbers or the product of the two numbers. The students will then use their understanding of the math facts to figure out what the other person's number is when added or multiplied. The first player to say the other person's number 
wins the round. Done with game number three. Now let's call on everything Adra for game numbers four and math five. Math games is one of my favorite things to do. Not only do they help kids remember different math facts, but they also make learning fun. So let's talk about this Beat the Buzzer game. Beat the Buzzer is a digital game that can be played in person or through distance learning. In Beat the Buzzer, there are 10 rounds plus a bonus round. The object of the game for children is to actually make it all the way to the end of the game, thus beating the buzzer. Each round gets more and more challenging as the questions get harder and the time gets shorter. Now, there is a little cushion in the game because kids are able to miss up to two questions per round. You can also make this more challenging and let them only miss one question. That is totally up to you. Now, I actually have six different versions of the Beat the Buzzer game. I have number recognition, addition, subtraction, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. If you wanna find out more about the Beat the Buzzer game, then check out the link below in the description. Now, the next game I wanna share with you guys is Flip That Card. This was actually one of my favorite games to play with my students because it's very effective, fun and simple. Now, depending on what operation you're teaching children, that depends on how you actually set up your math. So you can do comparing numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even comparing fractions. What you'll do is take a sheet of paper and instead of actually writing a math problem, give kids a deck of cards and a sheet of paper to work with and they are ready to go. Now this game works best if kids are in small groups or even pairs because everybody will have an opportunity to flip a card. Now before you start the game, go ahead and remove all the face cards and make the ace a wild. Now when it's a child's turn, they'll simply flip over the cards and put the cards face up in the rectangles. With their small group, the first person to accurately answer that problem would get a point. Of course, whoever has the most points at the end of the game would win. Thank you so much everything Adra for those cool and fun math games. By the way, guys, if you want to see literacy games, just check out Everything Aja's latest video in her YouTube channel. Link found in the description box down below. See you there. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again next week for more exciting contents. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye.